Hello and welcome to 2020 and uh, Happy New Year to you guys all. JW Solo USA live from Minnesota. I am glad and thrilled to see you guys and watch you guys videos and uh, I was here thinking what 2021 will bring us with all hard work and labor and support from friends and subscribers and viewers and commenters and everybody in the YouTube land and all over the world. I want to give you a season's greetings. And uh, um, this year, or oh, the past year, 2020, was something. You know, for a lot of people, for a lot of us, some people are affected, some people are not affected that much. And I'm going to be one of them who is so grateful and thankful because of, you know, at least all with this crisis going on, I was still okay. And I was doing a lot of work. 2020 put me to work more than all the other years being on solar. But 2020 was a challenge. And we came through and passed this thing the way uh, we should. And you can see all the other developments I've been doing, all the development down there, a lot of upgrades, and all what I've been doing on the board right here. But that doesn't even end the install of the off-grid solar system here at JW Solar USA, Minnesota. So we've been having some bad weather. We've been having some lot of snow slushy and cold and the panels are right now are covered totally covered heavy you know say thick high snow but look the system is still, <laughs> with all the panels are all covered could you imagine a light i don't know how the light travels or maybe just the glare from when the snow is shining on top of the the sun is shining on top of the snow and I think it illuminates down to the panels and is bringing something like this. So like I told you guys, I shut down the charge controller for various reasons because the, the snow is too much. That's why when you have panels on the roof and it's, it's really hard to deal with. You know, a ground mount is easy. You can go and do whatever you want to do. Topic today is just about talking about solar and uh, welcome you guys to 2021. And welcome to the new year. And we have a lot to accomplish here. I'll show you. I already started the process. This this is my first video, 2021. You see what is missing there? A one old stack of these is out. That was there. I'm working on something, like I told you guys, I want to finish 2021 with all the necessary things, 2020, sorry, with all the necessary, necessary things I was going to do. And with God be my helper and everything turned out to be perfectly fine. And I've been working on the system. I've been working on batteries. I've been showing you guys different things. I stopped the project on the Outback. The Outback is not that hard to... uh complete or the components because the magnum is the one that was giving me a heck of a pain headache and uh if you look at the, the magnum inverters jumped the price jumped really high on the magnums compared to the um the all back because correct uh, well let me get it let me get it straight i wasn't looking for any inverter for the outback I was looking for inverter, inverters for the Magnums because I want to switch to 48 volt. If I have a 48 volt, I can able to incorporate um, my 36 volt inverter over there by the outback. So there can be two outback there, but running, I can run that as a 24 volt, which can go all the way to 47 volt on the inverter, can even take the input in voltage. So I can able to use any batteries that's within all kind of weird voltages as long as they are in the 24 volt or 36 volts, I can able to use them. So what I've done, 
I have this guy here. It's sitting right here, the Magnum. Try this one old thing. I've been inspired, or I've been motivated, motivated by an awesome guy on YouTube, which um, is is really busy since the past. From 2020, he's busy and optimized, doing all kind of stuff. I think he's doing dehydration you know, of, 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 of um, fruits and all these things. His name is David Armstrong. So I like his uh, system. I like the way he has been working on it. Or when he was doing it for his off-grid solar system. I was having a Magnum as well. And um, I have the odd back. But I just have a redundant system. So I like the uniform part of it. I like the uniform part of the Outback. So that's why I'll be working so hard to pull the system all together. So guys, um, I want to give uh, kudos to David Armstrong. You know, inspire me to go more than enough or over and beyond. So I had one charge controller, uh, sorry, inverter. I increase, uh, put the box, the DC, um, the MMP box right there. And I even had the, uh, uh, the PT100 before. So I started getting, adding most of the components. So, and I even had the ME, the MERTR, MERTR, uh, router over there. And, um, I add that so that I can parallel the system but um when i started i wasn't thinking i'm gonna go into a dual system like that so i forgot myself completely that i have to buy a back plate which is this one can carry the dual system but if i would have bought it together then i can able to get the back plate which can do a dual i can put a two or or three inverters or four inverters and this box is going to be two of them that instead of the MMP uh, it's going to be uh, MPXL something like that so that's the problem now I get stranded one way or the other transitioning from this setup that's why you guys used to see two bricks of uh, Magnum sitting there because I was going to link everything so that I can flush everything looks perfectly fine as the way it is. Okay, like other folks um, already learned their way or <clears throat> they saw, they learned from their mistakes and they tried to put everything uh, together. Like, uh, like the key log end up getting the same system so he, he tried to get to the back plate and all that kind of stuff he mashed up two inverters and flipping 720 in canada going off grid the same thing now he's thinking about adding a third inverter right there you just added a third inverter excuse me a third inverter so the preparation was already there before the transition so i i was i never thought about i'm going to be going with a dual or triple or quad inverters but i think i'm heading to that direction to get uh four inverters of the magnum so let it be i can get uh 224 volts and 248 volts as i'm thinking i don't know yet the odd back I have, I'm looking so that I can get the same, the uh, FX 3048M. But they're so expensive as well. Not that lucky. But guys, this is what I'm trying to do. I can have three redundant systems. For redundancy, I'm building this system. And I'm going to tell you the reason why someday when everything is completed, you will see exactly what I'm going to be doing here. It's going to be crazy and awesome. So guys, um, this is the thing. Um, these guys, uh, 
um, like the key log moved from the uh, Samlex and all the way to the Magnum, as you guys saw when he was asking what other people think, what inverter he should get or whatever, you see. But um, this is what happened. But like I said, I wasn't planning. I just wanted one of that. But since the demand on a 24 volt, I need a 48 volt for more efficiency. So um, I end up going this one day and after that, you know, good luck follow me and all of a sudden I end up getting another one. So I'm going to show you what I'm trying to do right now. Due to all these, I started putting things together, trying to wrap my brain together. If I want to build awesome system, I want to build a bigger system, not a single system. I've done this once, this uh, um, single systems. So I want to build a double, a triple, quadruple system. They can just be nice and mighty. And I didn't just stop there. Because of that, I try to implement another system which I'm trying to put together here. But most of the time, guys, you can see I build my system and all of a sudden it's going to be a friend of mine or building the systems and sell them. Build the systems and sell them. That's mostly that's what happened. So what did I get next? There you go. Well, you know what it is, right? That's the MPXS 250-30DL. This is the one that's supposed to be going. It can go through under here. This guy. It's going to go under there. And you can able to get all your connections and all the other stuff. It comes with the breaker, the wires, all bunch of stuff. And I end up just getting a PT100 again, just like that one. <clears throat> the good thing about building advanced systems, if you end up doing this, you're going to turn up doing a lot of things. You can just switch from 24 volt to 48 volt by just removing this guy up here. Remove this 24 volt version of it, this inverter, and try to replace like something like this again, but in a 48 volt. You are fine. Nothing here changes. I'll say nothing here changes your charge controller, your uh, the ME ARTR doesn't change, your router here doesn't change, and um, you can just bill if it's a single system you can just stick a 24 volt out and stick a 48 volt or you can go like this and stick a 24 volt one in there as well it's fine and everything is going to be okay the uh, battery monitor kit bmk is inside it's still going to stay the same okay and you just have to reroute your battery batteries and set them and configure them well so this is what 20 21 is gonna bring us it's gonna be another series of videos here with uh, JW solar like I said I just love to build the systems and uh, it's fun and you learn a lot of stuff and uh, a lot of you guys watch a lot of you guys uh, picked up a lot of stuff and I inspire you guys or motivate you guys to do exactly uh, what we just did or what you've done or you've seen other people have done so i just want to show you this is the uh, projection right now we are heading to and um one of these guys is on the way i'm going to receive that tomorrow and it will be um part of the system but it's going to go for my 12 volt system these guys here i still have these guys sitting here guys I still have them and I have inverters okay and I have another inverter down here which is uh, out back the 36 volts I was telling you about it's, it's sitting here 
Look. Okay. So, guys, I have inverters. And since I'm working with them, and uh, box of equipment here. All back over there so I can stack them. So I'm already prepared for the stacking. It's over there. So I have two of those. So both the AC and the DC part of it. I have two of those. Watch my videos on the playlist. You'll see I already made an introductory of those and equipment. A lot of equipment here. It's not a magnum. So guys, it's a lot of things happening. Maybe I'm going to be doing a video someday, um, the back scene or whatever, uh, what's on behind the scene. That's the word I was going to say. And you guys can see what is happening. Inverters here. You can see all that stuff. So, I, so I have projects. So I just want to show you, this is not the, some of the things are behind the scene. I'm not, I'm not putting on. I'm not showing you guys. I'm not sharing with you guys. But I have a new idea for the 2021 to um, activate another channel that's going to be, if you want to see uh, private things or other installs that are not on the channel. So you guys can follow me on those ones. Like um, premium viewers or old time whatever or maybe newcomers uh maybe that's going to be for the introductory of the newcomers who knows i don't know yet i have to think about that i have charge controllers here midnight classic 150s i have them here i have charge controllers here midnight kid which is uh two of them okay Right here, right there, two of the kid, they're all for projects. And as I said, it's gonna be a long journey into these uh, solar production or solar install programs I'm doing here. All this equipment has a reason why they are here, okay? The batteries you guys have seen and I've talked about batteries, and it's gonna be more talking about the batteries because this is what I do. Okay, and I'll let you guys know. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Welcome to 2021 JW Solar USA with more projects on the 12 volt system, 24 volt, 48 volt system. Thinking about heading to the 60 volts as soon as I got the inverter. I got a, uh, a uh, Trying to get into a 25 kilowatt, 25 kilowatt inverter, which is a high voltage. So I can able to open up a one old Nissan Leaf or whatever thing and just put it there on a three phase. So these are all a lot of projects here and abroad overseas. And guys, these are all the projects that I'm ramping up right now. And, um, I, I, I'd love to share with you guys all my journey all the way on the solar uh, equipment on the, in the solar land. JW Solar USA, some projects are not on videos and it's behind the scene. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned.